smartphones, smart cities, smart cars, and now the Missouri Department of Transportation is investigating smart highways as an alternative to what we have today. And there's a startup company in Missouri that's taking a leading role in the creation of smart pavements. Countless hours on the road, bumper to bumper, or cruising right along. Imagine the highways we travel as smart. All the connectivity you can possibly imagine for your travels embedded in the pavement under your tires. A cell tower and smart tablet technology in a concrete case. In the pavement, most of the same elements that you would recognize from a smartphone or from a tablet, essentially the concrete becomes a shell in the same way that your phone has a glass and aluminum shell. Tim Sylvester, an engineer and entrepreneur based in Kansas City, believes he's the first person to conceive of this smart of a plan, engineering smart pavement. His company, Integrated Roadways. Really what we do is we take the reinforcement that goes inside the slab and we attach a lot of electronics to it and then we cast the concrete all the way around it. So they are fully encased in the concrete. It is truly a solid piece of concrete, it just has electronics inside. The interlocking concrete slabs are like giant tablets with embedded digital technology and fiber optic connectivity. We have a digitizer layer that can feel the surface of the roadway and can identify the positions of tires in the same way that your phone or tablet can identify the positions of your fingers on the screen. He explains how drivers would be connected to the internet and there are dozens of sensors designed for every aspect of road conditions. The network would provide real-time information to drivers about traffic, road conditions, and accidents. And Sylvester says it supports driverless vehicle technology, which would make autonomous vehicles affordable. We've seen an opportunity in moving the expensive technology, figuring out where you are, um, moving that off of the vehicle and into the roadway. Because that way, instead of every single person having to buy their own vehicle systems that detect their location, everybody shares the same system and amortizes the expense across all the users. Integrated Roadways has already shown the installation of its concrete slabs. This demonstration is at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and this one, I-35 near Gardner, Kansas. The company set out to prove that it can complete a full repair using its joint repair slabs in less than 90 minutes instead of the four hours it would take if it were a traditional repair. And it worked. One slab is installed in less than four minutes and the second slab in only a minute. The rest of the 90 minute timetable is for the grout to harden between slabs. And it required less than half the manpower typically needed. The slabs in the demonstrations don't have the technology. That is next. Sylvester is now pushing his smart pavement on the Missouri Department of Transportation. His selling pitch is how it will pay for itself and generate revenue for the state. He says the cost of smart pavement is two times the cost of traditional pavement. For example, while a one mile stretch of one lane in Missouri may be $1 million, smart pavement will cost $2 million. Sylvester claims that MoDOT would only have to pay 10% of the project cost in such a way that it would not affect its budget. Essentially, no cost to the state beyond what MoDOT already spends. He says his company will finance the project for MoDOT through a public-private partnership. The appeal for MoDOT is that Smart Highways promises to generate revenue for the state. One way is similar to how people make money off the internet. So we bring that lesson of building a generic platform for applications and services and we transfer it to the roadway where the roadway then becomes a platform for apps. Sylvester says his highway of the future can provide core services 
from the pavement. Just like your smartphone has core services that come from your cell carrier, and those are voice, data, and text, Integrated Roadways, as a member of the public-private partnership, delivers core services to people on the roadway. We've identified about 40 services that can generate significant revenue from the road. So we deliver the core services through the relationships that you already have. Advertising dollars wouldn't go to billboards. For example, imagine driving along I-70. Now, number one, I didn't see all the billboards. And number two, there are a lot more restaurants out there than I saw billboards for. So imagine if your ability to attract drivers off of the interstate was not limited by the number and location of billboards, we can actually push that information to people and say, hey, we think you might like this, and if you want it, you're going to need to exit in a mile and a half. And it just removes the expense and the visual and geographic limitations to the ability of small businesses to advertise. And convenience when it comes to kids and travel. Parents may pay more for a peaceful ride. Would you prefer to pay a little bit extra and get a new movie streaming in theaters now that they've never seen before but they've wanted to see and your minivan becomes a mobile movie theater for new releases. Um, maybe your teenagers want to play a virtual reality game where they may be stuck in a vehicle but in their mind and in the headset they can be anywhere. Well, VR takes a heck of a lot of bandwidth, and your current cell connection is never going to be able to provide that. Um, but with the next generation wireless services we can deliver, we can support augmented reality, virtual reality, streaming movies, autonomous cars, all of the things that um, sound expensive and futuristic and inaccessible by putting some of the technology into the roadway we can make it cheap enough for the general public to get access to it and that would be smart for innovations i'm kathleen berger